What's up YouTube family, it's TJ with another video and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your Gala Games Founder Node on a VPS so you're not having to run this on your home computer or your laptop and checking the times and always trying to make sure you get your, your 6 hours in especially with the new update coming beginning of the year where the longer you run your node the more points you're going to get so you're going to want it on vps i'm going to show you guys a super simple super easy this is step by step i'm going to take you guys through it so let's go ahead and get started all right first off we love sharing tips and tricks on how to help the average person get ahead so if you're not subscribed to our channel already make sure you subscribe down below what are you waiting on all right, let's go. So if you don't have an account with Volter already, go ahead and click that link in the description. And I think me and you both get $10 if you use our link. And that'll bring you to this page right here. All right, cool. So go ahead and put in your email address and password and create you an account. Hey, for anyone that already has Vulture set up and you just need to reboot your node or update your node or reinstall it, I'll leave a timestamp right here so you guys can jump to that part. Perfect, so don't forget to click that email and verify your email address, but it should come to a page similar to this, which is billing, and we'll come back to this in just a little bit. First, we're gonna hit products, and we have our step-by-step -step guide right here, but we're going to click cloud compute and feel free to pause the video if you need to slow any of these steps down. So cloud compute, then you're going to want to pick a server that's close to you. So Atlanta is what's closest to me. So that's our area. So we're going to be running Ubuntu, if that's how you pronounce that. And they specifically say to run version 20.04. So we're going to make sure we select that. So Ubuntu 20.04 times 64. Now for server size, Gala recommends that you have 60 gigs of disk space, two CPU cores, and four gigabytes of RAM minimum. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I at least have that much, and that'll be the $20 a month plan right here. All right, so we're gonna click that. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. Make sure you leave all this just the way it is, and then you're gonna put your server and host name. So you can name this really whatever you want, but you're gonna, I'm going to name it Founders Node 1, and you can't have any spaces, so make sure you put underscores uh, for that, or you can just do no, no spaces at all. That way, if you have more than one node, you can put two or three. You can see it's got quantity of servers 1, and it's $20 a month. So we're going to hit Deploy now, and that's going to bring us back to that billing page. All right, now you'll see where you get a $10 credit right here, $10 credit, and then you'll pay $10 for the first month, so that'll be your $20 <clears throat> to get you going. So you can do this through credit card or PayPal. I just did mine through credit card. Once you have your account set up, you can also pay in Bitcoin or however you want to pay. So just go ahead and fill this information out. Name, address, put your card number in here. Make sure you don't check this box right here that says, I just want to link my card because then you're not setting up your first month. So this should be on 10. <clears throat> hit agree to terms and conditions and then hit link card. All right, so we got our billing information in there. It brought me back to this page, so we're gonna re-click these options real quick. Also, if you have a yellow banner at the top, then make sure you verify your email. All right, so Cloud Compute Atlanta is closest for me. Ubuntu 20.04, going with the $20 month plan, because that's what we need. And then type in our name that we had for Boom, all right, server added successfully. All right, perfect, so you can see it's installing right there. So we'll give it just a second, and once it says running, we'll be able to, boom, now we'll be able to program our stuff. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull up this support page, because you'll need what to type in, or you can just have this video uh, where you can see the information. But we're gonna do a little bit of coding. No, it's really, is pretty simple. You just have to type this in, so. I'll have the link to this article uh, in the description as well. So if you already had an account set up and you're just updating it, all you're gonna do is gonna click server reinstall right here, and then you'll follow these next steps. All right, so we have our node, it says running. If you can't see this screen, you can just click on products and it should bring you to where you can see right here, founders node one, which is the one we just set up. So we're gonna click on that. Now this is just a test, uh, node so you know I don't care if you guys see the IP address or any of that stuff but make sure you keep this secret and not uh, share that with anyone alright so right here you have your IP address you have your password which is really crazy and you have the username right so what you're gonna do is you're going to click view console right here 
and that's going to boot up give it just a few minutes let this run and then what we're going to need to do is keep this uh, password right here visible because we're going to need to type it in in just a second All right, so it's processing all these files, and then in just a second, we'll need to log into our server. Now, if your window's small like this, sometimes it cuts off the bottom, so it could be done already, and just waiting on us. Yep. So if it's like that, just hit the enter key, and you can see the guest login. So if your window's small like this, you can drag it over a little bit, and then drag that down so you can see the bottom, and then hit enter, and you should see guest login. All right, cool. So first you're gonna put in your username, which is root, so R-O-O-T, and then you're gonna hit enter. Then it's gonna ask you for that password, and you need to type it basically exactly like this right here. So the only downside is you can't copy and paste in this uh, console right here, so you just have to have it pulled up and type it in. So as you're typing your password, you're also not gonna see anything. So you won't know until you get done and you hit enter if you typed it in right or not all right boom qj dash open bracket o and enter all right once you hit enter you should see this pop up like this and now now it says root at guest and we can start giving it some commands so now we're going to switch over to the article that has the code that we need to type in. So the first thing we need to do is run this script right here. So we're going to pull our window back up and we're going to run this right here. So let's go ahead and type that in. So All right, then we're gonna hit enter. And then this is gonna run. It's gonna go grab those files and download them to that server. And now we're ready for our next step. So next, we're gonna type this right here in. But instead of typing all this in together, I'm gonna stop at this semicolon right here. I'm not gonna type that. So I'm gonna type just this first part right here. I'm gonna hit enter, let that load, and then we'll type this second part right here. All right. It's a capital O right there not a zero all right I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter all right now we're gonna do that last part pseudo bash install dash headless dot sh enter and now we're gonna make this full size screen so now you can see you're installing Linux headless version of the Gala node so once you get to this screen you can use your arrow keys to go back and forth so we're gonna put that on yes and then hit the enter or return button and you can see that started loading and installing All right, we'll give that just a minute. Now at the very bottom, you'll see you have 15 minutes to confirm this device. So essentially what you're gonna do now, so let's scroll this back down, is you wanna type this web address into a browser. So let me open a new tab. All right, cool, so we have that web address at the bottom right here, so we're gonna type that in. There we go, and hit enter. All right, cool, so you can see how it's auto-populated in here, and that matches what we had. So we're gonna hit confirm, and then it's gonna want you to log in to your Gala Games account that you bought the node under. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then if you have the two-factor authentication, which you should, you'll have to put that uh, code in. We got that two-factor authentication in, says congratulations, you're all set. So now we'll go back to this page, and it automatically checks every like minute or so so we'll give that just a minute and once that rechecks and it sees that we've done that part it'll take us to that next step
All right, perfect, here we go. So workload selector. So for me, I just have a founders node. If you have a town start node as well, then you would check both. So right here, I'm just gonna hit the arrow key up and to where it's blinking in the founders and then I'm hit the enter key and it's gonna put an X in there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is hit save. Boom, node is configured. It should now run with Gala node, Damon. And then you're gonna hit the arrow key again and go to exit. All right, perfect. Installation finished. So then we're gonna hit enter and all done. All right, so now the way to check to see if this is working properly is you're gonna log into your Gala Games account, go to account after you click on your username right there, and then go to node info. And then you'll see right here, one founders node online. And that's how you know that yours is running properly. So uh, basically what I do is just kind of log in every now and then and just make sure it's still running. And then you'll also get an email if your node goes offline. If it says zero, then you did something wrong and you want to redo those steps. If you do have to restart, then they said it's best to always hit server reinstall and then start from scratch so you don't get any of the code messed up. So, all right, well, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. If you guys have any questions about any parts of this process, make sure you leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer every one of those. And make sure you follow me on Twitter. You can also DM me there. So. I hope this video helped. Make sure you guys give us a big thumbs up if it did. I appreciate you guys sticking in there with us. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Catch you guys in the next video.